Hello everybody and welcome to our latest development scheme at uh, what we call Old St. Mallons. Development uh, known as San Cillian Contractor Dandara. We're just going to show you around uh, a typical property. Um, we have a variety of twos, threes and fours. We'll just show you around this one just so you can see, get a good idea of what we are um, providing for our tenants at the moment. And hopefully you enjoy the video. So, first thing we do is obviously we come into the hallway. Hallway, obviously, we finished off uh, full flooring um, throughout. We've also then taken the same floor into the kitchen. Kitchen we supply um, without any white goods, just to be noted. So, obviously, we allow um, a slot for your washer, washer, dryer, a slot for your cooker, and a slot for your fridge, fridge, freezer. All those slots are 60 centimetres, so the standard normal size appliance you would buy will fit easily within these areas. Obviously, um, on the ceilings, there's quite a few different things. We've got a carbon oxide detector, because in this particular development, we've still got gas. We've got a heat detector. We've got also got a sprinkler system. Sprinkler system is throughout the whole property. Um, we'll show you where that controls from. And obviously we've got an extractor fan. The extractor fan is permanently on, we ask you to leave the fan going at all times, but it also has a booster switch as well. But obviously this type of property we've got windows, so obviously an extra ventilation as well. The cooker on this one, because we have got a gas boiler, we actually you do have the option to have electric or you or gas. So there's dual option there. Um, following on through now into the hall. Next thing we'll come across now will be the ground floor WC. Um, it becomes a bit of a wet room because it is a shower in there. Um, so it's just typical. So we obviously got your basin and your toilet. You got your shower is also provided. We also provide you with a shower curtain. Um, one thing to remember in these is these taps are thermatically controlled. So they have got anti scald valves fitted. So if you were in the kitchen washing the dishes, hot water will be hotter for pots and pans in Greece, whereas in here it's, it's turned down for anti scald Same in the bathroom upstairs. So some people think their water's not working properly, but it's just the fact it's turned down on purpose to create this anti scald We've also, in this one again, we've got a fan, fan burst switch, which comes on with the light. Um, move on now into the... On this one, we've, we've actually got uh, additional cupboard in the hall. In this cupboard, you will find the box that houses all the fuse trips. So typical, they're all, they're all identified. Typical thing, you're moving in, you've plugged in your iron, you've plugged in your kettle, you've been using it elsewhere, you suddenly start failing. This thing is so sensitive, it will tell you if you've got a fault. Please try it a couple of times, because very often it will work. It's just that initial um, plug it in. Above that, there's a switch which isolates the PV panels on the roof. Alongside that is a separate meter to the electric meter, and that's letting you know how much energy you're getting from those PV panels on the roof, or free energy, I should say. The lower section of this particular cupboard, you'll see a BT open reach broadband. It basically it's basically that all the broadband um, is already hardwired. You obviously need to contact the, the provider, you need to sign up, and obviously you need to pay your monthly broadband fee. On this one now we're going to go into the lounge area, <coughs> this particular property um, has got a pair of French doors leading onto the garden. Garden is obviously turf, you've obviously got a decent sized patio down, secure fencing and obviously there's a shed provided. Shed's gifted, we've also provided you with a rotary dryer, the rotary dryer is actually in the, in the shed at the moment, that's also gifted to yourself. Um, the only thing in this one that uh, needs any, anything to do with is the programmer. This program is a room thermostat. There's also a programmer for programming in your on off times. That will all be in the user guide, so you should be able to follow the instructions quite easily. We're also in the lounge, but obviously you'll see this every room. You see the sprinkler again, and you see the sensor. On the lower level now, we've, we've already put an aerial in the roof space, the aerials are gifted as well. Um, alongside that is a satellite outlet, the cable for any satellite is rolled up in the attic. But we suggest you don't actually put a dish on the building, if you're going to get broadband, most of these providers now they'll all come through the broadband 
quite simply. Um, in this particular one, it's, they're not generic, they're all in different locations. But in this one, you see, you'll find in, well, in every property these red boxes. These red boxes are what generates the sprinkler system. So in the event of an activation, activation they only activate in one particular area where the fire is. This kicks in a pump which kicks in sufficient water then to put the said fire out. Um, if you were to turn that top top off, you'll only knock off the water in your property. The other pipe goes directly into the sprinkler system, which is um, managed and maintained by CCHA on an annual basis. Um, you may, from time to time, hear that little pump work because the pump, to keep it going, it needs to activate now and again. We're going to go on now, we're going to go on upstairs. Uh, this is a So I'm, obviously the carpets, we've supplied carpets to the stairs, landing and all bedrooms. All I will do is take you into the bathroom first. So the bathroom, again we've got the anti-scald valve on the basin taps, we've got anti-scald on the bath and likewise there's a shower upstairs as well. Supply the curtain, leave the curtain with yourself to keep it clean and for yourself to hang up later. Again, the extract of fans there, it activates on boosting the light. There is, a, there is a dead man switch, we actually leave the switch on at all times, otherwise you're going to get a lot of conversation. Um, typical bedroom now. <coughs> this, so show you, this is a two bedroom property, so it comes with two double bedrooms. So this is a typical double bedroom, obviously you your sockets, you get the sprinkler again, we've even got a TV point. And there you are in this room as well. Um, we, we, most of them come with a cupboard of some sort, um, usually configured to be an airing cupboard. Some are configured with shelving and, and airing cupboard alternative ones, depending on the size of the property. So you'll always find a cupboard, which we classify as an airing cupboard. Um, I just opened the second bedroom door just so you can see the size is relatively the same as the other one and we can also get a bit of a view on the rear. Um, note that the site hasn't finished yet so there will be future developments behind the, the fence. But just to give you an idea of what we provide. I think that more or less uh, completes the tour.